Call to order, this is the 26th and final regular meeting of the 2010-2011 Common Council. And as is customary, our city clerk, Sue Richards, will re read the quote of the evening. Thank you, Mayor. Health, happiness, and success depend upon the fighting spirit of each person. The big thing is not what happens to us in life, but what we do about what happens to us. Thank you, Sue. Roll call, please. Warren? Here. Bauk? Here. Thank you. I needed that on your last night. <laughs> Bowers? Here. Decker? Here. Hammond? Here. Hannah? Here. Heidemann? Here. Koth? Here. Kittleson? Here. Montemayor? Here. Rinfleisch? Here. Raisler? Here. Sampson? Here. Vanderweel? Here. Versi? Here. And Wangaman? Here. 16 present. We have a quorum. Now if we can all join Alderman Bauk in the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Corey. Sir. We are looking for approval of the minutes of the prior Common Council meeting. Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. I move to approve the minutes of the last Common Council meeting. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. If there is none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Public forum? None this evening. We have no public forum this evening. We will move on to the Mayor's announcements and comments. This is the uh, last meeting of this council. And I think everybody should be proud of what we've accomplished in the last year. I think this council has come together. Uh, despite the sluggish economy and the financial woes that the city has faced, we accomplished a lot for the citizens of the city. What this council has done is we have successfully partnered with Walmart to lift the deed restrictions on that property for future development. We have a new festival foods opening, adding 225 jobs and $13.5 million in investment. The Taylor Heights Shopping Center adjoining that, we approved a new redevelopment there with five new tenants to be announced and another $4 million in investment. This council had the foresight and the courage to authorize purchasing the Shukert property for the future of our city. Gives us 180 acres of which we intend to develop 70 to 80 acres as a new green corporate technology park. This will include quarters, environmental quarters, which will be turned into conservancy land. We have been discussing opening up the I-43 interchange at Indiana Avenue, and we are petitioning the state to get that done. We authorized the building of a new pick and save store at the former Kmart location with another $9 million invested and 200 new employees in the future. We authorize the bonding for Green Envirotech, which will be going into the former IEC plant with 125 much needed manufacturing positions. We authorize the demolition of the Pantera property. Again, um, this is something that takes courage because it doesn't happen overnight. This is something for the future of the city that gives us 17 acres of developable property in 1,400 feet of frontage. What this council has done is laid the groundwork to reposition this city. We are still seeking new manufacturers to come to town, but we have repositioned ourselves to try to diversify our economy in the future that we are not totally dependent on manufacturing in this city to become more, more recession-proof. 
We have a long-term plan to redevelop Indiana Avenue, to take an area of our city that is in much need of improvement and to invest in it. We have helped out local manufacturers through uh, our CDBG funding to quietly add 150 new positions in existing manufacturing plants. This council authorized the sale and the new lease agreement for Blue Harbor. This, again, took a lot of courage on the council's part. And the council came together and unanimously approved this. The council did not have to approve the sale of a property where the city is taking in much less revenue than it used to, where the city has more risk than we used to. But this council had the foresight to take that chance to bring in some new blood into the Blue Harbor and to stabilize the entire South Pier for the future of not only the South Pier, but the entire riverfront, the entire downtown, and the entire fiscal well-being of the city. This council also authorized $100,000 for the dredge plan for the second phase of dredging the Sheboygan River. This has been a Superfund site for 30 plus years. We now have dredges in the river as we speak, and within two years, we will have a clean and navigable river. This will give us the opportunity to develop a lot of underutilized industrial property along the river. It's not only development that this council has been working on. What this council has done is began the process of establishing neighborhood associations. The Gateway Neighborhood Association is running strong. It's got a lot of members. This wasn't done only by the council. This was done by Sheboygan Neighborhood Pride, the Love Your City group, um, Reverend Jerry Link and his, uh, his uh, ministry. We also authorized the leasing of the Little Red Schoolhouse in order to start a neighborhood community center. A lot of this that this council unanimously supported is what will build the future of the city. We now have new neighborhood associations that are being formed in the Indiana Avenue neighborhood. We have the uh, Cooper School neighborhood. We have the Erie Hill neighborhood. This is just the beginning of it. We now have our police, fire, and building inspection working together to identify blighted properties and bring them into compliance. Starting June 1st of this year, this council authorized increasing penalties on property owners and landlords that do not bring their properties into compliance. This council should be, be very proud of what we've done. And we've done it quietly. We haven't been out waving the flag saying, look at us, look at us. This council, especially in the last half of year, has gotten major accomplishments that this council has authorized to position the city for the future. As a city, we are basically landlocked. We don't have expanses of land that we can easily annex. The Shukert property is about the last available piece. 
bordering the city. So we have to develop this city from the inside out. We have to redevelop this city. And this council has made those decisions to do that. A lot of them will not have an immediate return. A lot of them we will not see a return for many years. But if we don't start now, we'll never get there. And this council had the foresight and the courage to do just that. All of the aldermen and alderwomen in this room should be very proud of the 2010-2011 council and what we've accomplished. That should be the legacy of what this council is about, the future of Sheboygan. It's not about the Sheboygan today, it's about Sheboygan tomorrow. And I think we are well on our way to improving our city. I think the biggest accomplishment of this council is that there's a renewed hope in the city. People see a future. They see a future of prosperity. They see a future of improved neighborhoods, lower crime, and better jobs. So I applaud you, the Common Council of 2010-2011. We do have four council members who have served uh, their constituents in this city very nobly. And I would like to thank them this evening. Alderman Bowers, thank you for your time you've devoted to the city. Alderman Bowers, you were never afraid to ask questions. You were never afraid to speak out. I commend you for that. Thank you for the time you served. Alderman Bauk. Um, Alderman Bauk spent four years on the council, came in a year after I did. I've always said that I always thought that Alderman Bauk was probably the brightest person on this council. Um, also probably the most outspoken. <laughs> but Alderman Bauk never said anything that he didn't believe. Everything came from the heart. Um, I don't think I've agreed with everybody on this council on everything. And Alderman Bout, I agreed with you on most things and other things I just couldn't. And we know that. But you've been a great asset. Uh, you've been a confidant of mine. And I appreciate your honesty. Alderperson Montemayor spent eight years on our council, eight years serving the citizens of the city. Alderperson Montemayor, we got double duty with her because her husband, Lee, came along. <laughs> Much to my chagrin sometimes. <laughs> um, Marilyn, you are a, a, a classy lady, a great asset to this council. You were a great balancer on this council. That's why you're sitting next to Corey, to balance him out a little bit. <laughs> you've uh, served your constituents well, and you've served this city very well, and I thank you. Alderman Wangerman. Uh, Bill has been on this council for almost 12 years. Uh, Bill is by far the senior member of this council, probably the wisest member of this council, because wisdom comes with age, as we know. <laughs> um, I've, uh, Bill and I have always gotten along great as, uh, as people. Um, a lot of things that I believed in, Bill didn't believe in, but I've always had the utmost respect for Bill, and Bill has always uh, made his own decisions. And we're going to miss his wisdom. Before I'm finished here, um, I can't pass up this opportunity. I would like Alderman Bauk to come up, if he could please.
And I have a uh, special award. <laughs> Make sure it's this not might not be good. <laughs> and I've warned them a bit. This is a proclamation by the office of the mayor of the city of Sheboygan. Whereas Corey Bauck has zealously served the citizens of the second district as their alderman since 2007. And Corey has played an important role on the city of Sheboygan Common Council as a member of the finance and salaries and grievances committees. And Corey has always offered his unbiased views to the council, the gallery, and all the folks out there in TV land. Using a bit of wit and a hint of sarcasm and a lot of knowledge. And by his unselfish dedication and leadership, Corey's all, Corey always managed to get his 15 minutes of fame by pontificating at each council meeting that he managed to attend, which uh, wasn't really that many sometimes, but you know, that, that's uh, his travel time. Now, therefore, I, Bob Ryan, by the authority vested in me as mayor of the city of Sheboygan, do hereby proclaim Alderman Corey Bauck as the great pontificator. <laughs> 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 and I urge our council <laughs> and I urge our council as well as all of our citizens to refer to gentleman Corey Bauck as the great one whenever you witness him wearing the pontification headgear. Thank you, Corey. Semper Fi, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Little history on that. Uh, I think it was Alderman Longeman uh, told me I pontificated too much once, and uh, our former Alderman Gene Clyunis gave me the, uh, the pontification headgear, and I had to pass it on. So that's yours. Great one. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Would any of our aldermen like to say a word this evening, Marilyn? Thank you, Mr. Mayor, Get my spectacles. A lot has gone on in the last eight years, and I remembered a few of them. This is a very few of all of the things that we have accomplished as a council in the last eight years. I've been here since the beginning of Blue Harbor and the expansion of the riverfront. We saved Sheridan Park from destruction. We built the police station after 30 to 40 years. The Mong Memorial at the lakefront was built and dedicated. The reestablishment of two way traffic on 7th Street and 9th Street. The N Park water feature in District 8, which of course is my district and the people in my district love it and are used very much. We've, the start of the valuable ambulance service, the construction of Landmark, the burning of Landmark, the construction of Landmark again, the construction of the Grand Stay Hotel. The beginning of City Hall remodeling, which will help the citizens of Sheboygan very much. I think the citizens have needed an easier access to the City Hall for many, many years, and now they will have it. We've addressed dogs on the beach at Lakeview Park, dog run in the town of Wilson, new dog rules. Let's hope you don't have to face new dog things again. And each year, these accomplishments were made with less money. We've had protesters in council, singing in council, arguing in council, agreeing in council. It has been enlightening, tiring, and rewarding with the last three mayors. I thank you. Thank you, Marilyn. Corey? He didn't think I'd pass up this chance, Mr. Mayor. 
<laughs> it won't be that long. So let me tell you, it's been an honor to have served, just a patriotic thrill to participate in this process. I've got a job that I love that the responsibilities have expanded. Uh, I've got a daughter that I didn't have when I first ran, and uh, I've got a couple of uh, volunteer organizations that I'm looking forward to reconnecting with after this. Um, but this time we spent together was a huge education for me. I learned a lot about a lot of things, not the least of which is human dynamics, a lot of human dynamics uh, learning there. Um, and not every vote went my way, but that's part of the deal. I think if you've been around and listening, you've heard me say that. Some votes that didn't go my way that I felt very passionately about. At the end, we had the conversation, and that's what's important. And when it doesn't go your way, you've got to bring a better argument next time. Um, I'm proud of the fact that we were talking about total compensation packages and their impact on budgets over three years ago. Uh, you know, these people in Madison are latecomers to this conversation. And uh, it was some of the early conversations that uh, former Chair Hannah and former Chair Gisha really started. And uh, the citizens of Sheboygan should be grateful for that. I want to thank the department heads for their leadership and the employees for their hard work. Um, I want to thank Sue and the clerk's office. Um, we couldn't, the, you guys, without you, the whole thing falls apart. Um, my aldermanic colleagues, it's been a pleasure learning from and serving with you. I want to especially call out uh, Alderman Hanna and former Alderman Gisha. This city owes more to those two men than they, than they will ever know, than the, than the taxpayers will ever know. Uh, and, and Alderman Hanna is, is, is uh, bringing up that charge uh, as well. As chair of finance, there are things that go on that you just can't imagine, the hours that go on and the intellectual and networking requirements of, of those men. So thank you for that time. Uh, Marilyn, I actually have you called out as well, Marilyn, for being a great seat neighbor. I didn't know you were going to, that's why you put her next to me all that time, but uh, she always had great wisdom. Whenever anything historical, I'd jot down a note, pass it over, she'd have the answer for me, so I appreciate all your wisdom over that time. Active citizens, uh, sad not to see Dulce here, but good to see Marge here. Um, the active citizens fulfilling, fulfilling their obligation as watchdogs. That's what they do, and, and we're glad and lucky that they do. Um, Former mayors Perez, uh, Mayor Perez and Mayor Ryan, both honorable men um, who are in the arena. And it, it's a whole lot harder to be in the arena uh, than to be on the outside of the arena commenting on those in the arena. So I thank you, Mr. Mayor, for your continued participation. I really want to thank Johnsonville Sausage. Uh, they gave me incredible amounts of latitude, even though apparently I didn't make quite as many meetings as I should have. Uh, but Johnsonville has given me incredible latitude. Uh, during the day over the past four years to get work done. Uh, but because they believe this kind of service is important to Johnsonville as well. The things I learned here, uh, the things I learned by working with you about finance and capital planning, about uh, managing committees, about employment law, uh, about human behavior and leadership and power and influence, all those things, they know that I take that back to Johnsonville and can apply that there as well. And, and beyond that, they believe that the communities we, we work in, we serve in, we owe them opportunities like people like me being able to, uh, to serve. So um, I'm grateful for their support and uh, it just, for, for the uh, men and women on the council who, uh, who don't have as much flexibility, who, who uh, don't have their own business or who aren't retired, um, it, it takes a lot out of a company. Uh, and so again, I, I appreciate Johnsonville's support over these years. Um, just a couple of parting thoughts. I've kept a picture of Atticus Finch on my desk for four years um, because, as was called out in my, my award here, uh, sarcasm, I think, is the siren song of politics. Uh, I had the picture of Atticus here because I didn't want to be sarcastic as often as I probably was, and I was rarely successful at resisting the temptation because it's fun and you get the zinger in and all that. But really, to the, to the new guys in the, in the gallery that I see and to my colleagues, I really wish I could have been better at that. Uh, and I encourage you to, you know, sarcasm is fun, but it doesn't, doesn't get the work done. So I um, encourage you to move on that way. Um, and I urge you to continue to hold the line on taxes, of course. Every time, interestingly, every time someone said we can't go another year without raising taxes, we did. And I think there's still opportunity to be found there. So keep up that press. The taxpayers deserve it. And we all, finally, we all have tokens that represent portions of our life. And it sounds sappy or whatever, uh, but I'm, I'm the pontificator, so I can say it tonight. Um, we all have these tokens we pick up in our lives. And I am as proud of this Sheboygan lapel pin as I am of my Naval Academy ring and the gold wings I earned as a Naval Flight Officer. It's just been a great experience, and I really uh, have been pleased to be part of it. So I want to thank you for your continued service, my colleagues, and to the newcomers uh, in the gallery. Good luck, and thank you for, uh, for your service.
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Corey. Alderman Wagaman, would you like to say anything this evening? Just a little. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Mayor. So, thank you. We've always been good friends. And uh, I think Corey was right. The thing that, the glue that holds the city together is uh, called Sue Richards. And Steve, I've known Steve for a long time. We've many times called on him for his uh, legal knowledge. You're right, Mr. Mayor, I'm getting old. I've turned 75 now. And I've only got about 40 years to go, so I have to <laughs> go off and do other things. And uh, I figure on coming back when I'm about 100, I may come back and uh, run for office again. But it's always been an honor. I've always considered it an honor to uh, serve as alderman in the city for the past 12 years. And they went by like just like the wind. It seems like I blinked my eyes and they were gone. In fact, I've, I've been with the city, well, close to 50 years now, and joined the police department way back in the 60s. Uh, when I first came to City Hall, believe it or not, the building was still a log house. It was, it was really a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I want to thank everybody in my district, District 6, for supporting me for the last 12 years. Uh, it was a, a pleasure to serve them. And... As my stepdaughter in Hawaii would say, aloha. Thank you, Bill. Alderman Bowers, would you like to say anything this evening? Well, to say the least, it's been an interesting two years. I've learned a lot of city government. Uh, I think everybody on this council, whether they're with me or against me, had their own interests of their citizens at heart. It's one thing that you learn once you become a member of the uh, city council, that you have to roll with the punches. And after two years, I'm rolling. Thank Vice President Redfleisch. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I've always looked forward to hearing from the older persons as they leave uh, impart wisdom, um, and usually in good grace, uh, to those that remain. Uh, and it's always an honor to, to uh, have worked with uh, the aldermen as depart. Uh, I will miss Alderman Bauck, Montsmayor, Bowers, and Wagaman. Uh, and in their honor, I ask that uh, all of us here today rise and uh, give a round of applause for their service. Thank you, Eric. And again, thank you all, Alderman, for serving. On to the consent agenda, President Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. I move that all ROs be accepted and placed on file, all RCs be accepted and adopted, and all resolutions and ordinances be passed. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion, Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, on the agenda for document 26-9, uh, there's a typo on there. On the agenda, it says we're purchasing 20 60-cut, 60 60-inch 60 cut, zero-turn lawnmowers. Uh, Director Bittner did, his, did try to talk us into the 20 the other night at Public Works, but we said, uh, you're getting two of those and one of the 70s. But no, and seriously, uh, it should, your document, your document 26.9 reads correctly, two 60 inch cut zero turn lawnmowers and one 72 cut. So it's just a typo, just so that it's consistent. It was late Friday night, I'm really I understand, sorry. <laughs> I understand, so. Thank you, Jim. Any further discussion on the consent agenda? <coughs> if there is none, Roll call, please. Warren. 
Aye. Bouk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kotz? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. And Wangaman? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. Reports of officers 2612, we will hold for 2619. 2613 through 2618 will be referred. Resolutions introduce three, 2619 by Alderman Boren, authorizing entering into a contract for the County Trunk Highway E and OK Sanitary Sewer Relocation Project. And at the same time, we will take 2612 by the Director of Public Works submitting bids for the County Trunk Highway E OK Sanitary Sewer Project. Alderman Board. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, thank you, Mayor Ryan. I uh, would like to suspend the rules on these two documents. Second. We have a motion and a second to suspend the rules. The Is reason why we need suspension on this, we were hoping to get these documents for the uh, uh, sewer restoration uh, relocation project already two weeks ago at uh, uh, Public Works, but we just got it at the last meeting. And we would, it's kind of time is the essence to let this bid so that the uh, contractor, which is the winning contractor, was De Groot Incorporated out of Green Bay. The contract is for $95,965.33. We'd like to let this bid so that the contractor gets, can get started on the project as soon as possible. Is there anybody opposed to the rules being suspended? If there isn't, the rules are suspended. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Then I would make a motion that the report of officer be accepted and placed on file and the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and file and put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. Can we take these together, Sue? Yes. If there's no discussion. Roll call, please. Bouk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Percy? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. And Boren? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 2620 to be referred. Ordinances introduced 10, 2621 by Alderman Boren, amending the municipal code so as to increase the number of voting members on the Board of Parks and Forestry Commissioners from seven to eight, and to repeal and recreate the municipal code so as to change the membership status of the member of the City Historic Preservation Commission on the board to voting membership. Alderman Boren. Thank you again, Mayor Ryan. I also ask for suspension of the rules on this document. Second. Motion and a second to suspend the rules. Uh, the reason why I ask for suspension on this is that if we pass this tonight, this will expedite the mayor's appointments to the Parks Board. <clears throat> Otherwise, if it lies over, we, the mayor would have to redo his appointments to the Park Board. So if we pass this tonight, he can put out his correct list of members to that Park, park Board and we can move on. Okay, is there anybody opposed to the rules being suspended? If there is not, the rules are suspended. Jim? Then I would make a move that the general ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to put the ordinance upon, upon its passage under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Bowers. Aye. Decker. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Koth. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Raisler. Aye. Sampson. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Versi. Aye. Wangaman. Aye. Boren. Aye. And Bulk. Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries 2622 by Alderpersons Hannah Kittleson, Raisler, and Vandewiel amending the municipal code so as to change the class grade for the position of Deputy Finance Director slash Treasurer in the Finance Department Table of Organization. Alderman Hamm. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. I also need to ask for the rules to be suspended. Second. We have a motion and a second to suspend the rules. Thank you. Uh, let me just give you some, some background on this. The <clears throat> Deputy Finance Director, uh, we are proposing to change the class grade from 11 to 13. And let me give you some numbers so you understand what that means. Uh, that would mean that there would be an increase of compensation of 6.9% uh, to 89970 
that would allow the deputy director of finance to be on an equal par with the IT director in terms of compensation. Uh, that puts them uh, above the mid-range for grade 13. The range is 71,149 to 96,093, with the midpoint being 83,705. Uh, so she would be uh, 4,000, 5,000 over the midpoint of that. Uh, this is uh, the director of finance. Uh, this is part of his long-term plan uh, to make that department more efficient. He relies an awful lot on the deputy finance director um, so that <clears throat> uh, I would ask that we would uh, be able to put this ordinance upon its passage. Second. Hey, Thank you, Alderman Hanna. First uh, is the question of suspending the rules. Is there anybody opposed to the rules being suspended? Just on suspension of the rules. If there is no opposition, the rules are suspended. Thank you. And we have a motion to put this upon its passage and a second under discussion. Alderman Bourne. Thank you again, Mayor Ryan. <clears throat> I'm going to support this tonight because I've I've worked with the uh, with this individual for five years now, being on the finance committee and. I believe she's uh, entitled to this increase in, in remuneration. However, I've also met a number of excellent other non-represented employees. When I was chairperson of the Law and Licensing Committee for three years, worked very closely with uh, Attorney McLean's, a couple of his staff persons. Uh, this year as chairman of the Public Works Committee, I had a staff person down at the Public Works Department that helped out my committee tremendously. The point I'm trying to make is that while I'm going to support this, it's really too bad that other non-represented employees cannot get similar raises, that they're much deserved. Uh, in, this, in this time, it's, it's, it's probably not, we're not able to do that because of, because of our finances. But our our non-represented employees, I think there's about 60 of them, have not had a raise for two years that I know of, possibly three years, and we're still patiently waiting for the new pay plan for our non-represented employees and our department heads. So I hope that comes forward very, very soon, and hopefully we're going to be able to do something for these non-represented employees that have been biting the bullet for the last three years. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Bourne. Under further discussion? <coughs> there is none. Roll call, please. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. I'm sorry. Aye. Thank you. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. And Bowers. Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries 2623 to be referred. Matters laid over 11, 2558, resolution number 251, 1011 by Alderpersons Hammond, Bauk, Boren, Raisler, and Rinfleisch, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2011 budget, establishing appropriation for park <coughs> department furniture. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage. Under discussion? There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Wonkman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. And Decker? Aye. 16 eyes. Motion carries 2567, General Ordinance Number 561011, by Alderpersons Hannah, Raisler, Vandewiel, and Versi, amending the municipal code so as to delete and add a position in the police department's table of organization. Alderman Hannah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd ask that the uh, general ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. I have a motion and a second to put the ordinance upon its passage under discussion. Alderman Sampson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Can I just get some clarification or some idea of why we're moving one spot up? Are we losing somebody on the street, or is there? Can, can I just get some idea why we're doing this? Please. 
Chief Domagalski will come up and answer that. Good evening. Um, this goes back to a committee of a whole meeting that we had last year where I was asked about um, problems or issues that I had found in my assessment of the police department and I explained that the one area of liability that I saw is that there was no direct supervision of the street crimes unit. Um, so what I did was put in a plan to go forward with that. I included it in my budget request um, with some justification in there. It was approved there so the money's there in the budget. Now what needs to be ha what needs to happen is it needs to be added into the table of organization. Um, in in short, what's what 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 I'm asking is that the street crimes unit is a unit that um, is dedicated to addressing crime related to drugs, gangs, and weapons, and that places those three people into um, the riskiest business that that we're involved in. So if you look across the nation in, in the recent history here of any police scandal, um, you'll find that two reasons usually are related to, to those scandals. One is either poor supervision or lack of supervision. In the police department, most of that supervision occurs at the uh, first level leadership, which is a sergeant's position. So I believe that us not having a sergeant dedicated to providing that leadership there um, setting priorities, make sure that training issues are, are dealt with, finding out where problems are and addressing those. We're exposing the city to a great deal of liability because those are the officers that are most likely to use force, run into large quantities of drugs, large quantities of money, anything where an issue really could happen. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Any other questions? If there's no further discussion, roll call, please. Anna? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kath? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. And Hammond? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. Other matters authorized by law. 2624 will be referred to the Public Works Committee of the New Council. 2625, an RC by Public Protection and Safety recommending filing document submitting a communication from Gail and Robert Turns, who live next to Calumet Gardens Apartments on 25th Street, are wondering, along with their neighbors, what is the future of the abandoned smoke damaged apartments? President Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. Um, these are doc documents 26-25 uh, through document 26-31 were dealt with in committee, um, did not get under the consent agenda. So I would just ask that all of these documents be accepted and adopted as reports of committee of the Public Protection and Safety Committee. Second. Thank you. Okay, we have a motion and a second for 25 through? 31. 31. Mm -hmm. As if they were on the consent, consent agenda. Yes. Is there any discussion regarding these documents? If there is none, roll call please. Heidemann? Aye. Kott? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. And Hannah? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 2632 and RC by law and licensing. Recommending referral of various license application that will be referred to law and licensing of the new council. 2633 in RC by law and licensing, recommending granting various licenses. Vice President Rinfleisch. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have moved that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and adopt under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Cuff. Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. And Heidemann? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 2634 and RC by Public Protection and Safety recommending repealing the municipal code so as to update a section number in the International Property Maintenance Code. President Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I would ask a Council to accept and adopt the report of committee and put the ordinance upon its passage. Second. 
We have a motion and a second under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Kittleson. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Raisler. Aye. Sampson. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Versi. Aye. Wangaman. Aye. Foran. Aye. Bauk. Aye. Bowers. Aye. Decker. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. And Koth. Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 2635 will be referred to salaries and grievances of the new council. 2636, an RO by the city clerk granting various licenses. President Kittleson. Uh, it can just no, be accepted. Oh, okay. it can be accepted. Thank you. I would ask that we just accept and adopt the, re, uh, the various license applications. Second. second. We have a motion and a second to accept and adopt or accept and file. Yep. Correct. Accept and file. Accept and Under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Raisler. Aye. Sampson. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Versi. Aye. Wankaman. Aye. Boren. Aye. Bauch. Aye. Bowers. Aye. Decker. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Koth. Aye. And Kittleson. Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. Uh, we will be moving into closed session. Could we take 2637 before we go in? 2630, okay. 20. Your other matters that Steve needs to read. Oh, we have the other matters, Steve. 2637 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2011 and June 30, 2012. That would be referred to law and licensing. Okay. President Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. At this time, I make a motion to convene in closed session under exemption provided in section 19.851G, Wisconsin statutes for the purpose of conferring with legal counsel for the city who is rendering oral advice concerning strategy to be adopted by the city with respect to litigation with which it is likely to become involved, namely claims for excessive assessment by JFM1 LLC, owner of parcel, 59281-215850 and Foxcroft Limited Partnership, owner of parcel 59281-431080. Second. We have a motion and a second to convene in closed session. Uh, we will be clearing the gallery and turning off the cameras and we will not be going back on the air. Again, I thank everybody for serving in the 2010-2011 Common Council and I'm looking forward to another year. We need a roll call. Roll call on closed session. <laughs> Bowers? Uh, this is a roll call to go into closed session. Aye. Okay, Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Marilyn, you need to? Aye. Okay. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor said yes. Rinfleisch? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warren? Aye. And thank you, Corey, for making me smile every time you say I. Balk. <laughs> hey, can the new guys stay, or is that not allowed because they're not sworn in? Not, they're not sworn in yet. Sixteen eyes. Okay. I'm sorry. We'll take about uh, two minutes here to clear the place out and make sure our cameras are turned off. Uh, we'll restart in about at ten till. About three.